And Bill and um, all those who will be following you, um, we we intend no um, disrespect, but there there is the three minute time frame, sir. Mm -hmm. And to our other folks who are testifying, uh, thank you very much. So all can be heard. Go proceed, Bill. I strongly urge you to accept <clears throat> the governor's proposal and the Democratic Task Force subcommittee report and the use and and use this these as a guide to create a law or laws. That will Bill, be can you just make sure that for the record you have started with your name? Um, because that's important. I'm sorry. My name is Bill Katz. From Hartford. Hartford. Yes. Thank you, Bill. I'm oh. sorry to interrupt you. That's okay. I'll start over. I strongly urge you to accept the governor's proposal and the Democratic Task Force Subcommittee report and use these as a guide to create new laws that will be beneficial for Connecticut and be a proud example for other states to follow. I won't reiterate the arguments you have heard ad infinitum on, on the specifics. I, I'd rather speak more in, in generality. Uh, you know what your mission is. Please do it. We know as a statement of fact that the countless thousands of gun-related deaths that occur annually in this country, we have become so gun-crazed that an expectation exists that arming oneself is tantamount to being patriotic. It isn't. We have lived in this false bubble for so long that we have simply accepted it as the American way and no other alternatives will suffice. But this is no longer acceptable. You are empowered to pass laws for the public good. We, the citizens, are demanding a major change in the business as usual as it applies to the killing fields of our gun culture. We have had enough of the gun industry propaganda that tells us that guns are as American as apple pie. They aren't. The diet must change, and it will change. We will change it. You will hopefully change it. You all know about the thousands that die each year by the click of a trigger. You know the data. It doesn't need to be this way. You will hear those who will tell you that the assault weapons ban didn't work before, and they won't work now. Well, you know something? They're correct. Uh, they, they didn't work because we didn't go far enough. You probably know, all know, about the British uh, Parliament passed a law in 1996 outlawing most guns. After banning handguns larger than 22 caliber, they passed the second law outlawing the remaining weapons. The Parliament vote was 384 to 181, and it was not a partisan divide. We here instead create these partisan divides because of the size of the industry lobbies. A new day has dawned in this country. I don't know if you realize how strong this movement to ban weapons is. We are organizing all across the country. We are organizing in small towns and large cities. We are growing. One of the reasons we will continue to grow is our inexhaustible supply of volunteers. None of these volunteers know how much, how that, how much value they will contribute to the cause of gun control. Because when, it, when the time comes to volunteer, they will quickly become a martyr by being cut down by a bullet. It could be me or it could be you. And Bill, you can summarize what you would say, sir. And each time this happens, we will add more converts to the sport of gun control. We have grown quite resolute in the three short months since December 14th. We are here to stay. We welcome you all to be a part of the solution to help create a truly safer society. And if you doubt the reserve, resolve of this movement to rid ourselves of this gun menace, you will find yourselves on the losing side of this cause. Thank you, Bill. We will be watching every election cycle beginning in 2014. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Sir, so appreciate it. Questions from committee members? Um, if not, um, oh, yes, I'm sorry, Bill, We're, I was too hasty. Uh, Senator Guglielmo? Hey, Bill, thanks for coming. If you were going to draft legislation uh, to solve the gun problem, would it be safe to say that your view and the, the view of the group that you represent would be only the military and police officers could carry weapons? Would that be where you would 
come down on us? Well, first, I, I, I'm representing my own ideas uh -huh. and myself. Well, for yourself, then. And, and your question is if whether the law... Whether person, if you could craft a law that would be passed today, sure. signed by the governor, would your optimum result be that only police officers and the military could carry firearms? Well, the military carries firearms in, in a theater of war. Uh, our police have had to carry uh, weapons because of the weapons that are prevalent in our society. In the British system, uh, their police generally do not carry firearms because firearms are not the, the biggest uh, uh, threat to, their, to themselves. I, I think that, and, and again, I know, I know we're not going to go uh, there at this time, but I, I really like, and I've, I've thought about that British model, of paying uh, people to turn in their weapons and be compensated for it, and there are ways of, of finding uh, new revenues to cover that. They should always be uh, compensated for that. But we don't need to live in a society that, in which everybody is armed to the teeth. Because, yes, I agree with many of these people here, uh, NRA supporters. They're law-abiding, they're careful, they, they control their guns, but it's called the seepage. You can't control the seepage, as the, uh, the last person or, or someone here before me uh, indicated. Eventually, a gun, 60%, I think he said, of legitimate gun purchases wind up in, in nefarious hands. And there's no way of controlling that. So I would, I would support, uh, yes, a, a law that would uh, force people to turn in their guns. Other nations have done it. Australia has done it. Uh, Great Britain has done it. Well, why can't we do it? We're supposed to be the most civilized uh, nation on earth. But look at us. The world laughs at us because we're the most violent prone. Thank you for your honest answer. Thank you. Um, thank you, Bill. Uh, we'd like to invite Brian.